So one common thing that every IoT project needs is the SID name and password of the Wi-Fi router to make it talk to internet and generally we used to write those Wi-Fi credentials inside the code itself and then later on if we need to change the Wi-Fi credentials we need to reprogram the ESP32 board which is a hectic task in itself. And when you start selling those IoT projects the tasks become really challenging as you need to program all those projects based upon your customer's Wi-Fi credentials and when later on the customer wants to change the Wi-Fi credentials well it's an impossible task for them if they don't know coding. Well, for all these problems, Aspresif Systems came up with an amazing solution called as Wi-Fi provisioning. So in this video, I'll be guiding you how to provide those Wi-Fi credentials wirelessly via Wi-Fi or BLE using Aspresif Systems mobile applications. Well, this is going to be really useful learning for your entire IoT journey. And if you're excited enough, well, do hit the like button right now. And now let's get straight into it. This video is sponsored by LTM, which is a PCB designer based software company. Now LTM is not just another PCB designing software, rather it's a world class and award winning PCB designing tool that has some features like advanced interactive routing with auto completion, any angle routing, bus routing, face and land tuning, follow me more and much more which makes it an ideal choice for pcb designing by a lot of companies along with this they do also have ltm 365 that not just covers the pcb designing part but also helps with design sharing via web sharing designs to mechanical team for product design centralized cloud storage and a lot more and along with all this they do have a very useful search engine made just for electronic components called as octopart using octopart you can search for any components and you will be able to compare its price and availability around the globe not only that you can also get the details about the components like its specifications and data sheet all at one single place so ltm provides everything to make your production task a lot easier so do try out all the services right now as you'll be getting a free trial version by just clicking the link mentioned in the description. Happy making. So now if you use the ESP Rainmaker, you must be aware about the Wi-Fi provisioning in which we scan the QR code shown on the, uh, what you can say, serial monitor. And after scanning the QR code through an application, we are able to provide the Wi-Fi credential through the app itself. Now the same process will be following here in this video, but this process will be useful not just for Rainmaker, but you can use it for any of your IoT projects with any of the IoT platform. So for that, first of all, we'll open the Arduino ID and we'll go to files into examples and here we'll be opening this example called as Wi-Fi provisioning okay so I'll open this example code and this is that example code that will help us to do all those provisioning tasks okay so I'll go through this code uh, line by line and explain you each and every uh, line of this code so first of all uh, necessary libraries Wi-Fi provisioning.h and Wi-Fi.h after that here one line is commented which is really important okay so you can uncomment it if you want to do the provisioning via Wi-Fi okay so by uncommenting this the ESP board will create an access point you can connect to it and then you can provide the Wi-Fi credentials and if you comment it out uh, this will still work but it will work via BLE and not Wi-Fi okay so this is that line and don't worry I'll be testing both the methods like the Wi-Fi and the BLE in this video so you'll be come to know each and every step for both the uh, you know uh, wireless technologies okay after that here a couple of credentials are provided so here first of all we have POP which means proof of possession which is kind of a pin that we need to provide while provisioning so next is service name which is the name of the device so uh, it will be accessible with this device name to all the mobile applications okay now you can change this name but make sure your name should start with provisioning underscore okay so this is a default thing which the application looks for so you can write out the name as provisioning underscore techie sms and it will work okay so let's keep it as a one two three only after that service key is written as null and the reset provision is written as true now what is this reset provision so when it is provided as true it means that when you reset the esp board it will erase the wi-fi credentials uh, it received okay and if you want that Wi-Fi credential to be stored, even if you reset the board, then you need to make it as false. Okay, so I'll make it as false because in our IoT projects, even we reset the board, we don't want the Wi-Fi credential to be erased. We want to stay them in the non-volatile storage. Okay, so I'll keep it as false. After that, here is one necessary function, kind of a callback function, you can say, which is system provisioning event. I will discuss this function later on. First, let's com uh, complete the setup part of the code. So here in the setup part, first of all, the serial begin at 11 pretty common. Then Wi-Fi dot on event system provisioning event. So we are assigning the callback function with this, uh, you know, line of code. After that, here we have a couple of if condition, uh, which 
will decide whether it is a BLE provisioning or a Wi-Fi provisioning. Okay, so if it is a BLE, then this function uh, will be called. If it is based on Wi-Fi or soft AP, this function will be called. And accordingly, we'll be printing the BLE QR and Wi-Fi QR based upon the condition we have provided. Okay, so that's the basic setup part. The loop you can see is completely blank, which is a great part. So this code is not like a stuck in between. It is running in the background and in the loop, you can run any of your tasks that you want. That's a great part of this code. Okay, so now let's see the system provisioning event and let's see what its task is. Okay, so uh, here we have a couple of cases, okay, switch cases. So based upon the specific condition a specific case will get satisfied for example once the wi-fi board is connected it got the ip address then this will be getting satisfied and we'll be able to see the current ip address assigned to our board then in case it get disconnected this will be satisfied and we'll be able to see this data on serial monitor in case the provisioning starts so at the time of beginning of provisioning this will be satisfied and we'll be able to see this much a uh, line of uh, data on the serial monitor so why i'm explaining this is like you can change this thing like according to your you know application okay if you want to send some data to the wireless device you can write down the code here and it will send the data as well okay if you want to change whatever uh, it is printing on the serial monitor you can do that as well okay so moving ahead we have this event pro provisioning credential so once uh, this device receives the credentials from the mobile application this case will be satisfied and will be able to see the sid and password received from the mobile application in case the provisioning gets failed due to any reason this will be printed okay and in case the provisioning gets successful like the credentials are correct and uh, the uh, board is getting uh, get successfully connect with the internet this condition will be satisfied it will just print as provisioning successful and at the end like when the provisioning is ended it will just print out as provisioning ends okay so all these things will be running in the background and as soon as any event occurs we'll be able to see the corresponding response on the serial monitor so let's just straight away uh, upload this code and let's see everything in action but before uploading you need to make sure one thing which is so you need to go into tools first of all you need to select the board as esp dev model after that in the partition scheme you have to select this as huge app and after that you need to select the right com port and then just hit the upload button i already connected my ESP32 board with my computer and now let's just wait for the code to get uploaded. Now in the meantime, let's have a look over the mobile application. So when you open the Play Store and App Store and search for ESP Pro onto the particular application, you'll be able to see two results. One is the ESP BLE provisioning and other is the ESP Soft AP provisioning. Okay. So as the name suggests, uh, the first one is for uh, providing the credentials via BLE and the second one is for providing the credentials via Soft AP. Now in this video, I'll be showing both the demo. So I install both the uh, application on my smartphone. First, we'll start with the BLE provisioning. So I'll open this application. Okay, so on the computer, the code is all successfully uploaded. I'll open the serial monitor. I'll just maximize this window. I'll reset this board. And as you can see, begin provisioning using BLE. And we also got a QR code. Now this QR code uh, is not clear. So we won't be able to scan it using our smartphone. But what happens is it is not clear only in this Arduino IDE serial monitor. But if I open some, un uh, some other IDE, maybe let's say Thorny IDE. And if I select the right COM port here, and if I reset this board, as you can see, I'm able to see the QR code, which I can scan through my smartphone. So, okay, coming back to our smartphone. So here we can click on provision device and now we need to scan the QR code here. So I'll scan the QR code and it automatically started uh, connecting to that BLE device. Okay, it says connecting to device and we got connected with our ESP32 board. Now, in case if you don't want to scan the QR code, okay, and if you do this process without QR code, well, we can do that as well. Let me show you that process. So I'll click on the cancel button i'll click on provision device and i will click on i don't have a qr code in this case it will manually search for the ble device okay so as you can see here is our ble device pro underscore one two three i'll click on it and now i need to provide the pin or pop which we have assigned into the code okay which was uh, by default abcd one two three four so i'll click on next and now i'll be able to connect with my esp32 board so there are two ways either you can scan the qr code or you can provide the uh, pop or the pin and you can manually connect it okay so now we are ready to uh, you know provide the wi-fi credentials to our esp32 board for that you can click on join other network and give the sid name and password of your wi-fi router cross check everything and click on the connect button and now on the serial monitor as you can see it got the credentials and it got connected with the uh, internet or the router we can say and it got its own local ip address as well after that it printed provisioning su successful and in the end it printed provisioning ends okay so that that was the process of providing the Wi-Fi credentials via BLE. Now let me show you how to provide the Wi-Fi credentials via soft AP or Wi-Fi. Okay. For that, I'll go back to the code. I 
I'll uncomment this line and let's click on the upload button. Okay, so it's throwing one error. So what I'll do, I'll manually delete everything related to BLE and like I'll keep everything related to Wi-Fi here. Okay, let's just do that manually. Okay, seems pretty much good. Now I'll click on the upload button and now let's test this provisioning via Wi-Fi. So till the code gets uploaded, let's go back to the app store and here this time you need to download this ESP soft AP provisioning and you need to open this application. So we have two different applications for two different wireless technologies. Okay, so on the computer, the code is uploaded. I'll open the serial monitor. I'll maximize this window. I'll reset my board and it says uh, begin provisioning via soft AP this time. Again, it generated a QR code which is not properly visible. But let's just, uh, you know, connect it manually. Okay, so I'll click on provision device and I'll click on I don't have a QR code. Now here I'll click on the connect button and I need to manually connect my smartphone with the Wi-Fi uh, you know access point or the soft access point created by my ESP board which is provisioning underscore 123. After successfully connecting to it uh, we need to provide the POP or the pin you can say click on the next button and now we are good to go to provide the credentials. I'll click on join uh, other network, provide my Wi-Fi credentials quickly, cross check it and I'll click on the connect button. On the serial monitor, we received the Wi-Fi credentials and uh, yeah, it got connected with the router. It got it IP address. It says provisioning successful and it says provisioning end. Okay, so that was the same process, but this time we did it with the uh, Wi-Fi access point. Okay, so through this, uh, you know, Wi-Fi and BLE provisioning, you can provide the credential without hard coding it inside the ESP code. So that was a basic example code, but now let me show you practically by implementing this uh, particular line of code in a practical working project. <laughs> let me show you. So now to show you how you can use Wi-Fi provisioning in a practical working IoT project, I took an example of MQTT client particularly working on Adafruit IO dashboard. So here's the Adafruit IO and I am uh, I will be publishing the data to the feed called as temperature, okay? So let me explain you the code like how I integrated that provisioning into the existing IoT code. So first you need to provide the Wi-Fi credit, uh, sorry, necessary library, pretty common. Then here I have introduced one new variable called as Wi-Fi connector. Initially it is set to zero. Okay. So what am I doing here is as soon as we get the Wi-Fi credentials, I will make this Boolean variable as one until we don't get any Wi-Fi credential. It will be a zero value only. Okay. And this Boolean variable is used inside the main loop. So then take you to the main loop. So here's the main loop and here uh, what I did is I just provided one condition that if Wi-Fi connected is true, then and then only you need to run all the internet related tasks. Else you just need to print as waiting for Wi-Fi. Okay. So this is what I have embedded here. And later on, I do have embedded one more logic for resetting the Wi-Fi credential. Okay. So earlier we have seen how to provide the Wi-Fi credential to the board. But in that example code, we were not having any logic to you know, uh, manually reset the Wi-Fi credentials in case we generally need to change the Wi-Fi credential. Okay, so I have provided a logic uh, in which you just need to press and hold the boot button or the GPIO zero, so it will print as a reset button press. And in case the reset button is pressed even after five seconds, then it will print as resetting. It will reset the Wi-Fi credentials and it will reset the ESP board and it will start once again okay so that's how you can manually or forcefully reset the wi-fi credential and enter the new one okay so these two logics i have embedded here in this code rest of all the thing is same in the code i'll provide this example code in my github repository for your reference okay so i have already uploaded this code so i'll open the serial monitor here i'll i'll maximize this window i'll reset this board and let's see what happens Okay, so it just printed the QR code and now as you can see, it is just waiting for Wi-Fi and it is not doing anything. Okay, so now I'll grab my smartphone. Let me just start the screen recording on my smartphone. Okay, so here I'll open the ESP BLE provisioning and I'll click on provision device. I don't have a QR code and let's wait for our device name. Here is the device. Click on next and let's enter the Wi-Fi credentials. After that, just click on the connect button. Okay, so it received the Wi-Fi credential and let's just wait for it to connect. Okay, it got connected and now it also connected with MQTT as well. It says provisioning ends. So that's how we have provided the Wi-Fi credentials. And now let us see if this code sends the MQTT data or not. Okay, it says sending temperature value as zero and it is printed as okay. Let me just check on my uh, dashboard. Okay, so here it is 17th of August 8.44 p.m. Okay, we got a new value as well. So it is you know, sending the data via MQTT, which it was previously not happening because it was waiting for Wi-Fi. Okay, I got a new value as well. And now let me show you how you can erase the credential. So you just need to press and hold the boot button on your ESP32 board or the GPIO zero, you can see. And as you can see, reset button pressed. Let's just wait for five seconds. 
and yeah it erased the wi-fi credential it has uh, it restarted the esp board and now it is again waiting for wi-fi so now we can provide the new credentials so that's how you can easily implement this wi-fi provisioning uh, logic in any of your iot projects how was this learning according to you if you genuinely loved this learning got a value out of it well don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with your friend who is struggling to you know find this kind of logic uh, to be added in their iot projects or products so yeah that was it about this uh, video i will be implementing this uh, wi-fi provisioning in my upcoming project which is a very interesting iot project so make sure to subscribe our, chan uh, our channel to watch what that upcoming project is and yeah that's it about this video and i am just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video and then let's explore learn share with me techie sms